In the realm of decision-making, temperance reigns supreme, advocating for thoughtful deliberation over hasty impulses. Within the Stoic ethos, it epitomizes the noble art of conscientiously resisting immediate reactions in favor of sagacious responses. Temperance stands tall among the quartet of indispensable virtues, representing equilibrium and restraint that seeps into every facet of existence. Its significance lies in its pivotal role in fostering sagacity, particularly amid adversities. Justice and courage, akin to temperance, demand self-restraint and moderation, urging us to acknowledge our boundaries and prevent our passions from usurping control, especially in moments of pressure. Mastery over one's emotions is imperative for maintaining composure, preserving mental clarity, and effectively surmounting challenges. Should one find oneself excessively swayed by emotions, be it anger or zeal, a recourse to stoicism becomes imperative. In the pursuit of candid pragmatism, I shall elucidate ten actionable strategies in this discourse, aimed at embodying the timeless lessons of history and cultivating temperance as a cornerstone virtue within your character. Lesson number one. Embrace what you can control. At the core of Stoic philosophy lies a fundamental teaching articulated by Epictetus, the dichotomy of control. This principle serves as a guiding light, delineating between elements within our grasp and those beyond our reach. Embracing this concept is paramount for fostering inner peace amidst life's uncertainties. Epictetus urges us to invest our energies wisely, focusing on aspects of life that fall within our sphere of influence, our thoughts, actions, intentions, and responses. By honing our attention on what we can shape, we cultivate a sense of purpose and mastery over our lives. The acknowledgement of our power over our internal world forms the foundation of our tranquility. Conversely, external events beyond our control are to be acknowledged without resistance. Like the archer who skillfully releases the arrow yet remains uncertain of its trajectory, we must learn to let go of outcomes beyond our governance. This release is not a defeat, but an embrace of equanimity in the face of life's unpredictability. Epictetus's analogy of the archer finding contentment in their efforts, regardless of the target's fate, honors the stoic approach to life. It encourages us to focus on our intentions and efforts, accepting that results are subject to external influences. In essence, Stoicism teaches us to take charge of our inner world, embracing the dichotomy of control as a means to maintain composure amidst life's turbulence. By directing our energies towards what we can shape, we liberate ourselves from the burden of trying to control the uncontrollable, finding solace in knowing we've exerted our best efforts with the tools at our disposal. Lesson number two, the power of acceptance. In the vast expanse of Stoic philosophy, Few luminaries shine as brightly as the Roman emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius. His timeless wisdom, etched into the pages of Meditations, imparts one of Stoicism's most potent teachings, the lesson of acceptance. Through profound introspection, Marcus Aurelius invites us to embrace the inherent duality of human existence, the inevitable blend of triumphs and tribulations. Life, he reminds us, unfolds as a symphony of highs and lows, an eternal flux within the ever-changing landscape. There exist facets beyond our control, circumstances immune to our influence. As a stalwart of Stoic wisdom, Marcus Aurelius champions the virtue of embracing these immutable truths. To accept, in the Stoic ethos, is to embrace the fluidity of life, acknowledging its unpredictability and impermanence. Resistance, he suggests, only breeds turmoil and anguish. Like a vessel battling against unforgiving tides, the Stoic approach to acceptance resembles navigating the currents of existence without a fixed destination, yet with unwavering trust in the journey itself. It beckons us to relinquish the quest for absolute control and instead flow with life's ever-shifting currents, harmonizing with the melody of the cosmos, whether tranquil or tumultuous. This embodiment of stoic equanimity forms the cornerstone of inner tranquility. It bids us to welcome life's caprices, relish triumphs, and endure adversities with poise. The power of acceptance, as elucidated by Marcus Aurelius, 
acts as a guiding light through life's labyrinth, enabling us to embrace each moment and circumstance with a serene heart. It is the serenity found in embracing life's unpredictability and discovering profound peace amidst its ceaseless flux. Lesson number three, limit excessive desires. In the intricate tapestry of Stoic philosophy, Seneca's treatise on the virtue of moderation shines as a masterpiece. Renowned for his profound insights into ethics and personal development, Seneca imparts a crucial lesson. The importance of restraining our voracious desires that threaten to disrupt our inner tranquility. At the core of Stoicism lies the recognition that unchecked desires, akin to tempestuous seas, can lead to chaos and discontent in our lives. Stoic thinkers, in their quest for inner peace, understood the peril of an insatiable thirst for wealth, recognizing that material possessions often exceed the bounds of necessity for a virtuous life. Seneca echoes this sentiment, advocating for the cultivation of contentment through moderation. This lesson guides us to navigate life's turbulent waters with the rudder of self-restraint, steering us towards the serene harbor within. The Stoic path, illuminated by Seneca's wisdom, encourages us to simplify our desires, seeking only that which is essential for a life governed by virtue and ethics. In this simplicity, we unearth the treasures of contentment and tranquility, immune to the whims of external fortune. The practice of tempering excessive desires becomes our compass in the pursuit of calm and serenity. Within the framework of Stoic philosophy, we realize that the relentless pursuit of material possessions is but a transient illusion, while true riches lie within, awaiting discovery. Seneca's teachings serve as a timeless testament to Stoicism's commitment to inner mastery and the moderation of desires, guiding us towards the sacred sanctuary of inner peace. Lesson number four. Understand the transitory nature of life. Within the timeless verses of Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher delves into life's essence, a journey marked by perpetual change. His teachings serve as a testament to the wisdom of embracing life's ever-shifting landscape as a cornerstone for inner peace and tranquility. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, Marcus Aurelius imparts a crucial lesson, the recognition of life's ephemeral and fleeting nature. Stoicism advocates for an awareness of this reality not as a cause for despair, but as a source of profound resilience. This lesson urges us to understand that all experiences, whether moments of joy or trials of adversity, are subject to change. The universe, in its ceaseless motion, weaves a tapestry of perpetual flux. Stoic sages do not resist this cosmic dance. Rather, they embrace it with grace and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to release attachments to transient moments and possessions akin to stars that briefly adorn the night sky. He teaches us to cherish these fleeting experiences while acknowledging their impermanence. Through this stoic insight, we cultivate inner patience, forging a resilient spirit in the face of life's inevitable fluctuations. Picture standing on a beach at sunset, the serene waves, the sun's gradual descent. In accordance with Stoic principles, you appreciate the moment's beauty without clinging to it, fostering a tranquil state of mind amidst life's transitions. Understanding life's transience unveils a path to profound inner serenity. We realize that our capacity for calmness transcends external circumstances, akin to stars steadfastly shining through passing clouds. Marcus Aurelius, through his Stoic wisdom, invites us to bask in the light of this understanding, enabling us to embrace life's moments while maintaining an unshakable sense of peace. Lesson number five, be virtuous. Stoicism's essence finds its nurturing embrace in the profound teachings of great philosophers such as Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. At its core lies a steadfast dedication to virtue a timeless principle that forms the bedrock of this ancient philosophy. Stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance illuminate the path to inner tranquility and peace. Within the intricate tapestry of Stoic philosophy, virtues hold sacred significance. 
They serve as moral compasses, guiding us through life's trials with grace and wisdom. Far from abstract notions, these virtues are pillars upon which Stoic wisdom is constructed, urging us to harmonize with the natural order of the cosmos. Wisdom, the first virtue, shines as a beacon of reason and discernment, urging us to deepen our understanding of the world and our place within it. Stoic sages recognize wisdom as the cornerstone upon which all other virtues rest, enabling us to discern the transient from the eternal. Courage, the second virtue, stands as a bastion of moral fortitude, urging us to confront life's challenges with resolve. In the Stoic lexicon, courage is not the absence of fear but the triumph over it, a steadfast commitment to face adversity with inner strength. Justice, the third virtue, adorns the Stoic path with righteousness, guiding us to embody fairness and moral rectitude in our actions. Rooted in principles of universal justice, it fosters inner serenity by aligning our conduct with the moral fabric of the universe. Temperance, the final virtue, guards against excess and imparts self-control, leading us to find true peace through moderation. By simplifying our desires and seeking only what is essential, we unlock the gateway to inner tranquility, irrespective of external circumstances. These virtues, extolled by Stoic philosophers, Converge to craft a life steeped in Stoic ideals, guiding us through life's tempests with grace, wisdom, and enduring peace. By embracing these virtues and allowing them to permeate our thoughts and deeds, we cultivate a serene disposition reflective of Stoic commitment to inner harmony and moral living. In the mosaic of Stoicism, these virtues paint a vivid picture of a life lived in harmony with the eternal truths of the universe an ode to the enduring power of virtue in shaping human existence. Lesson number six. Choose your response. Epicurus, revered for his enduring wisdom spanning centuries, bequeaths us an invaluable lesson. The power of choice in our reactions, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. This lesson stands tall as an unwavering beacon, guiding us through life's tumultuous seas. With steadfast resolve, Epicurus reminds us that while external events may lie beyond our control, the manner in which we respond remains firmly within our grasp. This, he proclaims, is the essence of Stoic wisdom, the sanctuary where tranquility and equanimity reign supreme. Rooted in our sovereignty over life's myriad challenges, Stoic philosophy empowers us to navigate adversity with grace. Here, Stoic virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Illuminate the path to inner peace. Epicurus urges us to introspect upon our judgments and reactions, particularly in times of hardship. Through this introspection, we awaken to the profound truth. We possess the sacred gift of consciously shaping our responses to life's vicissitudes. The Stoic approach to responding to life's fluctuations is akin to painting a masterpiece on the canvas of existence. A choice to embody Stoic virtues and confront challenges with the wisdom of philosophers, the courage of heroes, the justice of noble hearts, and the composure of those who master themselves. Consider encountering negativity in communication with others. Rather than succumbing to anger or resentment, strive to control your reaction. Seek to understand their perspective and maintain composure, fostering a positive atmosphere in communication. In doing so, you uphold dignity and foster stronger relationships. Stoic, infused with Epicurus's wisdom, stands as a bastion of inner peace, impervious even in life's fiercest storms. Through conscious choice and alignment with Stoic virtues, we erect a protective shield preserving inner tranquility amidst adversity. It is the resounding call of the Stoic to traverse life's rugged terrain with grace and resilience. For in the crucible of conscious choice, we discover the enduring forge of inner peace. Lesson number seven. Practice mindfulness. Seneca, the esteemed Stoic philosopher whose wisdom transcends epics, imparts a vital lesson for those navigating life's tumultuous waters, the cultivation of mindfulness. Within the Stoic framework, mindfulness serves as a guiding light, leading us to the sanctuary of the present moment 
shielding us from the torrents of past regrets and future uncertainties. Mindfulness, in essence, is the art of inhabiting the present fully, immersing ourselves in each moment with profound awareness. It serves as a potent antidote to the affliction of rumination, the ceaseless churn of the mind over past sorrows and future anxieties. Seneca's teachings beckon us to honor the richness of the present, recognizing it as the sole moment of true existence. Mindfulness, as elucidated by Seneca, transcends extraordinary moments, embracing the ordinary and mundane. It invites us to observe life's tapestry with discerning eyes, liberating us from the shackles of regret and anxiety. Stoic mindfulness becomes a precious instrument for nurturing inner calm and clarity, a bridge to the present moment, anchoring us amidst life's complexities. It bestows upon us the ability to fully engage with our current circumstances, relishing each breath and discovering beauty in every heartbeat. In the practice of mindfulness, we uncover an eternal refuge where the soul finds solace, where inner tranquility flourishes and self-mastery blossoms amidst life's ever-shifting currents. Lesson number 8. Embracing Gratitude In the vast tapestry of Stoic philosophy, woven intricately with strands of insight and unwavering patience, lies a precious gem of wisdom. Embracing Gratitude This pivotal lesson, championed by Seneca, a luminary among Stoic thinkers, illuminates the path to inner peace and fulfillment, transcending life's trials. Seneca implores us not only to celebrate life's triumphs, but also to find solace in its challenges. Through the lens of gratitude, we discover contentment amidst adversity. Seneca, in his heartfelt essays dedicated to gratitude, passionately praises its merits. He urges us to shift our focus from what we lack to what we possess, finding solace in the present and embracing its often overlooked treasures. In this stoic practice, we unearth a potent tool for cultivating profound inner calm. At the heart of Seneca's teachings on gratitude lies a gentle reminder that thankfulness transcends material possessions, rooted instead in recognizing life's blessings in their myriad forms. Thus, Gratitude becomes not merely a reflex to life's joys, but a profound acknowledgement that amidst life's storms, peace can be found. As we nurture gratitude, we redefine our relationship with life, recognizing the extraordinary within the ordinary, drawing lessons from adversity, and cherishing each fleeting moment. Seneca exhorts us to embrace the present, understanding that life's treasures are not commodities to accumulate but experiences to savor. The value of gratitude, as illuminated by Seneca, becomes a guardian of inner peace, guiding us to continually reflect on the blessings adorning our journey. Through gratitude, we transform despair and longing into the gold of contentment and serenity, finding strength in adversity. In the Stoic tradition, gratitude becomes an ever-present companion elevating us above life's tumultuous waves and revealing serenity in the embrace of blessings, no matter how modest. With Seneca's wisdom, we realize that practicing gratitude is not merely a response to life's joys, but a celebration of beauty even amidst its trials. With each breath, each heartbeat, we are presented with the opportunity to discover the riches of gratitude. Seneca's legacy beckons us to cherish the present not despite its challenges, but because they enable us to appreciate life's beauty. Within this radiant practice, we uncover a soul imbued with profound tranquility amidst life's turbulence. Lesson number 9. Nurturing Resilience In the symphony of Stoic philosophy, the teachings of resilience echo like a harmonious melody epitomized by Epictetus, a distinguished Stoic philosopher. He imparts to us the profound wisdom of confronting challenges with unwavering determination. For Epictetus, challenges are not adversaries to fear but rather chisels shaping the masterpiece of our character. Rooted deeply in the natural rhythm of life, Stoic philosophy imparts the timeless truth. Trials are the very fabric of existence. Stoics embrace this insight viewing challenges not as hindrances or sources of anguish but as opportunities, a furnace to refine their inner metal. 
Epictetus urges us not to succumb to despair amidst life's storms, but to stand resolute like an unyielding oak in the face of adversity. At the heart of this stoic perspective lies a profound realization. It is not the events themselves but our perceptions, responses, and choices in the midst of hardship that hold the power to unsettle us. Our outlook on life's challenges shapes our inner serenity, fostering resilience. The Stoic path leads us towards personal growth and mindfulness, where adversity becomes not a catastrophe but a tutor. Stoic philosophy teaches us that within difficulties, we unearth our true resilience, forging a spirit fortified by the trials we endure. Epictetus, in his sagacity, urges us to confront challenges not with timidity but with the valor of a warrior, for it is in our response to external circumstances that we safeguard our inner tranquility. It is through the gift of resilience that Stoics navigate the tumultuous waters of life with an unwavering gaze, undeterred even by the fiercest storms. Lesson number 10. Embrace continuous learning and growth. Within the profound realm of Stoic philosophy, where wisdom intertwines with threads of patience and tranquility, lies a guiding principle urging us onto a perpetual journey of self-betterment. Epictetus, a towering figure in Stoic philosophy, stands as an unwavering beacon in this pursuit. He illuminates the path to inner peace and self-mastery, emphasizing the significance of continuous personal development. The commitment to self-improvement is a recurring motif within Stoic philosophy, echoed empathetically by various Stoic philosophers. Epictetus champions this cause with resolute determination, beckoning us to embark upon the infinite road of growth. He underscores that this commitment is a treasury of wisdom, empowering us to confront life's challenges with grace and understanding. Central to Stoic philosophy is the profound recognition that life is an ongoing odyssey. We are not stagnant beings but vessels brimming with untapped potential, ever capable of growth. The dedication to lifelong learning and advancement is an unyielding summons, a reminder that amidst our current standing, horizons await exploration and virtues beckon cultivation. The stoic pursuit of self-improvement harmonizes seamlessly with the quest for wisdom and tranquility. It acknowledges that inner peace and self-mastery are not static states but processes enriched by perpetual learning. Epictetus urges us to pursue knowledge as fervently as we would pursue a precious gem, recognizing it as the compass guiding us through life's labyrinth. The journey of self-betterment finds its cadence in the rhythm of everyday life. We are urged not towards perfection but towards progress, not to a fixed destination but towards continuous development. This stoic lesson reverberates through the corridors of wisdom, whispering that there exists no ultimate endpoint, only an eternal voyage toward becoming the best versions of ourselves. By embracing this lesson, we learn to confront life's adversities with patience and resilience. The Stoic spirit draws strength not from the absence of challenges, but from the pursuit of growth that challenges often catalyze. We come to understand that failures are not impediments but stepping stones, and every trial serves as a mentor. The commitment to lifelong learning and growth serves as a guiding light amidst life storms, a wellspring of tranquility amidst adversity. It reaffirms the Stoic principle that irrespective of external circumstances, we retain mastery over our inner domain. As we learn and grow, we equip ourselves better to weather life's tempests. In the echoes of Epictetus's teachings, we discover an invitation to celebrate the journey of self-improvement, to relish in the process of learning, and to honor the endeavors of personal growth. It is a lesson that reaffirms our journey towards the essence of Stoic philosophy. A life imbued with inner peace, self-mastery, in the pursuit of knowledge. In a world fraught with turmoil and uncertainty, Stoic philosophy offers a timeless and practical roadmap to maintaining equanimity and self-control. By embracing these tenets inspired by the wisdom of Stoic philosophers, we unearth a profound serenity and inner calm that aid us in navigating life's challenges. The enduring wisdom of Stoic philosophy reminds us that inner peace and self-mastery are not contingent upon external circumstances but are fostered within through the practice of these invaluable lessons. 
If you have gleaned even a modicum of insight from these ten daily lessons, a morsel of wisdom, or simply relished our time together, consider subscribing to the channel, giving this video a hearty thumbs up, and activating the notification bell. Not for the sake of numerical achievements, but to perpetuate our shared journey of knowledge and personal growth. Until our next uniquely enriching encounter, keep the flame of curiosity ablaze and the spirit of stoicism aflame. Farewell, and until we meet again in the next installment.